Hello, this is Lionel. Yeah, today we're going to try to do some hack on uh, Ubuntu Touch directly on the device uh, because uh, something that is quite interesting that uh, some parts of code are, for example, UI files uh, are made with QML and uh, are directly accessible on the device. So, for example, I want to, to have a hack on uh, if I can show you an act on the sound setting. For example, I want to work on that part. And um, so that part is accessible directly on the device. Um, just something that we have to know, it's, uh, it's called system settings. We can see the repository here. Lomeri system settings in GitLab, and um, yeah, we need to have so to take some time to to know how it is built. One way to do to have that information is to see the control file. It is where you can see what it's needed to be built. But for all parts, which is only QML, you don't have to worry about it. Just to see what's the name of the package what will be the name on the uh, in the device so for example if i if i uh, uh, maybe it's the wrong branch i need to choose the right one the current one so you want to know here is the name of the package let's try to to go to the device and if i type this Boom, right. There is a package. If I want to see where are stored the files, that just type that command dpkg uh, l, big L. And so we can see all the files here, the QML files. directly on the device the one that interests us is uh, the soundlist.qml but first of all as you notice the the partition is uh, read only so i have to to put it uh, writable I change it to writable okay and we can use we have an editor in the in the device which is uh, nano and you can see here i have the QML file. So, for example, if I want to change uh, that part, this is a picker. When we want to choose a custom file, choose from Toto. If I write it, if I write the file, I can already test it. Let's screencast again. I need probably to reboot to restart the. Um, the UI up here and uh, if I go to the sound list and choose a custom sound I can see you can see here my change is here so it's quite convenient way of testing UI directly in uh, in Ubuntu touch you've got uh, lots of components which are uh, directly accessible for example if I go on the device, if you want to see all the components, the QML components installed, you can check out, check that directory and you will see that you, you can access some, uh, some components here. We can have a, the the address book, for example, we get some uh, compon share components. So this is accessible directory directly with Nano. Don't forget to put the sudo before. Uh, so this is my way of, of hacking for small things, UI things, because I don't have to install anything. Just restart the the, the interface, and you will see the the, the change. Um, what else to say? 
I think uh, that's all. Well, after testing, what I usually do is to use an IDE. So here I'm look. I'm on. A, I've cloned the repository, and I can uh, directly change in order to make a merge request. Directly change the um, the code here. I can also do this way, but uh, you need to compile, and uh, it's not working every time because. Uh, for example, usually I use CrossBuilder. CrossBuilder, we will uh, we will launch uh, a virtual machine and build for ARM for my uh, architecture uh, and push to the device. But it's quite long process. So for simple things, just uh, edit directly on the device is okay. Uh, yes, I think that's all for today. Okay, bye-bye.